right guys we are back in the game and we are right outside of Vilvarin and some of you may be familiar with Vilvarin uh, and know that on top of Vilvarin there is an alien well that you can use to get a minor bonus you also might notice that uh, across the land there are things like doomstones and uh, shrines out in the wilderness to the different nine divines and none of those locations are marked as map markers as well as all player homes so we want to get a mod that changes all of that and that mod is called additional map markers Real quick, I'm going to get that installed and show you guys the difference. Alright guys, we are back in the game and again, we are right outside Vilvarin. But what you might notice is now, there is a map marker pointing the alien well. And if we approach the Vilvarin pop-up, we don't get the alien well. Oh, we do get the alien well pop-up. Whoa better than I thought. And if we look on our map, we now also have Alien Well and Vilvarin. Yeah, so that is just a little taste of what the additional map markers mod can do. Um, it's going to include player homes in every city. It includes Alien Wells, Rune Stones, and Doom Stones, as well as um, many of the shrines across the land that are just kind of in the wilderness to the Nine Divines. That definitely helps with the Knights of the Nine quest because you can find them and fast travel to them. They'll actually show up on your compass. Uh, pretty useful to be fast traveling directly to your house. Things like that. Um, it also includes a couple of those uh, order stones that are in the Shivering Isles. Yeah, so great mod. We will dive into the installation now. Alright guys, we are on the additional map markers mod page on Nexus Mods. As always, I'm going to leave a link in the description down below so you guys can follow along with me as I'm going through this. Alright, let's talk about requirements. Uh, this mod is going to absolutely require magic loader. Uh, it, it says it's a soft requirement, but uh, earlier when I was showing you that the Alien Ruin was there, if you do not have Magic Loader set up and active, you are going to see this missing string table entry as the name of all of the map markers. So if you don't want that little annoying thing, uh, technically the mod will still function, but the names will be that. And that's not great. Uh, I have a video going into the installation and use of Magic Loader, as well as setting it up in Vortex as a tool. I will leave a link in the description down below for that video as well, so you guys can get that set up. Um, it's not mandatory that it's a tool or anything like that, but you will need to run the executable in order for this to work. So. Please follow along, make sure you have Magic Loader set up, and you're good to go. Now, additional notes about this mod real quick is that it actually is a compilation of six different mods. So he has made separate mods for just Way Shrines, uh, Doomstone and Runestone, Alien Wells, the Shrine of Kinnereth, that didn't have a map marker, uh, and then player houses and home map markers, as well as obelisks of order map markers for the Shivering Isles. So if you only want, say, player house and home, and you don't care about the others, by all means, go ahead and snag that. That is A-OK. -okay. All of these mods are going to follow the exact same installation process. I think they're all going to require magic loader. So again, make sure you have Magic Loader set up, but if you only want one or a couple of these, let's say you don't want the Alien Wells, just piecemeal pick the ones you want. All right, so with that out of the way, let's get into installation. 
So we're going to go into the file section here. And the first one is the mandatory requirement. It's the additional map markers. These optional files here are just translation strings so that the names of all the different locations are in that language. We've got the German version, we have the Spanish one, the French, and the Brazilian Portuguese, as well as the Russian strings. Now, at the time of recording, this just got uploaded uh, two and a half hours ago. So expect this to be a little more filled out as time passes. But yeah, the only thing you need is the additional map markers. If you do get a translation, make sure you have this installed as well and make sure this is loaded afterwards so it overwrites this file with the right translation. All right, guys. With that out of the way, we are going to go ahead and install this through Vortex. It is a simple mod manager download button. A little reminder, magic loader is pseudo required for this mod. The map markers will still show up and you can fast travel to them. It'll function, but the names won't be right without magic loader. Please follow along in with the video in the description down below. Get that set up and ready to go so that you know, things like this don't happen in the future. There will be other mods that also require Magic Loader. Going once, going twice. Okay, everybody has Magic Loader installed and ready to go. Everybody's followed my video and has it as a tool on Vortex. Perfect. Let's get to download. So we're going to do a slow download. And if you see it in Vortex here, Additional map markers is installed now. It will function, but the words are not quite right. Right up here, we have Magic Loader installed with the tool. We are going to need to run this just like that. We're going to have it do the magic and then close it. Once that's done loading, we're now going to run the game. That's and that's it guys, it is installed and ready to go. Magic Loader has found it. That's it, hopefully this was easy to follow and uh, I didn't leave anything out. If I did any mistakes or if there's any things for improvement, let me know in the comments down below. I'm always watching, always trying to make sure we get the most accurate information we can. And with that out of the way, Happy modding and happy Mondays. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching this video all the way through to the end. I really appreciate it and I hope it was very helpful showcasing this mod and showing how to install it. Um, I'm really hoping that we can get this channel growing so that we can uh, show as many people as possible how uh, easy it is to install some mods and showcase some really good mods that some hardworking people come up with. Um, in order to do that though, I, I'm really going to need you guys' help. Please like the video and subscribe to the channel. Share this video with as many people as you can. We'll try to get this channel growing and hopefully it helps as many people as possible. Thank you so much. I'll see you guys next time.